Your testimony is a most precious possession, often associated with deep spiritual feelings. These feelings are usually communicated quietly and described as a still, small voice. As a member of the church, opportunities to bear your spoken testimony come in formal church meetings or in less formal one-on-one -on -one conversations with family, friends, and others. Another way you share your testimony is through your righteous behavior. Your testimony in Jesus Christ isn't just what you say, it's who you are. Members of the church stand as witnesses of God at all times and in all places. Opportunities to do this in the digital universe using inspiring content of our own or sharing uplifting content prepared by others are endless. Obstacles to sharing your testimony may include uncertainty about what to say. Another obstacle is fear. You see, feelings of fear don't come from the Lord, but most often from the adversary. Having faith will allow you to overcome these feelings and freely share what is in your heart. I believe a testimony is innate within us yet. In order to keep it and more fully develop it, Alma taught that we must nourish our testimony with much care. As we do so, it will get root and grow up and bring forth fruit. Without this, it withers away. I invite you to seek opportunities to bear your testimony in word and in deed. I offer my testimony and witness to you. God is our Heavenly Father. Jesus Christ lives. And the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is God's church on the earth today, led by our dear prophet, President Russell M. Nelson. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.